Well, folks are on high alert over the coronavirus, trying to learn as much as they can. And while you're researching for more information, scammers are working to try to steal your personal data. TV5's Blake Keller is live in the studio with ways to fight back. Hi there, Blake. Hey, good morning, Colette. Yeah, while you may just be trying to gain more insight to stay healthy, hackers are using the coronavirus outbreak as bait to launch phishing scams and deliver malicious spam and malware. Now, the Better Business Bureau is warning about emails and websites, promising tips and helpful products, but actually seeking to steal your private data. And beware about clicking links and opening files. Experts say that may include emails and posts promoting awareness and prevention tips and fake information about coronavirus cases in your neighborhood. Now that leads us to tip number one. Anything unusual, don't open it. Delete it immediately. Who is sending this email to you? If you're not sure who they are, don't open it because a lot of times there's attachments to these emails and if you and that's where the virus or the attack is. Well, tip number two, ignore online offers for vaccinations. And number three, make sure the anti-malware and antivirus software on your computer is up to date. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Blake Keller, WNEM TV5. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah, you know, I've started to just don't open things. If I don't know who it's coming from, just leave it. Mm -hmm. But even if it's you know. from someone that we know, because yeah. we recently had an incident like that here that's at true. the station, yeah. you still want to check the email address. You have to. Because There's... you never know, even yeah. if it's someone you know. Those so. are great tips from Blake, too. Yes. Always just double check. Yeah. Can't believe we're scamming the coronavirus. That, I know, that, that's that's what I'm saying. It's like, I. Nothing okay. is safe anymore. Nothing. No. Absolutely not. <laughs>